Daniela Takish Sudanese teaching hospital continues to provide medical services despite the ongoing clashes in the country. However, the hospital which opened in 2014 is struggling to provide basic services to all of its patients. Khadija Awad, a patient with kidney failure, said, I used to do dialysis twice a week, but because of the conditions the country is going through now, I have to do dialysis once a week. My conditions are difficult and the situation in, in general is not reassuring, she said. Yasa Adam, a doctor working in the hospital, told reporters that the number of patients that we are receiving is great so far. He is also said that we are appealing to the world now that we are in great need of blood and blood donation. Danyala Sudanese Turkish Hospital's medical director Soliman Ahmedi described the difficult situation the hospital is facing. Sudan descended into chores after fighting erupted in mid-April between the paramilitary rapid support forces and the military led by General Abdel Fatal al-Burhan. Since then, over 3,000 people have been killed, the country's health ministry said, while about 2.5 million people have been displaced, according to the UN. The administration of the Nyala Institute for Health Services stated that all health facilities in the area were closed as a result of the intensification of the clashes. Despite the conflict, the management of Nyala Turkish Sudanese Hospital confirmed that the hospital continues to provide health services. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.